Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Hello my beloved students How are you today? I hope uh, all of you are fine uh, Even we are in the bad condition today uh, I hope that you uh, you still have a spirit to face the world Okay uh, Do you still remember me? I hope so yeah Okay uh, Today I will tell you about uh, recount text uh, what is that? What is recount text? So, recount text is one of materials that we have discussed before. Uh, we have the first is simple present tense. Do you still remember it? Okay, and then the second is um, present continuous, and then the third is uh, we have discussed about positive, comparative, and superlative degree. And then the fourth is simple past tense, and then the fifth is recount text. So recount text. Uh, the these five materials will be examined in your midterm test. Case, okay? make sure that you have prepared before, bef uh, be before the test. Okay. Okay. The recount text. So, what is recount text? Recount text uh, is a Recount text is a text that tells us about the writer's past experience. Jadi, recount text itu apa, mem? Recount text itu adalah uh, sebuah teks, sebuah tulisan-tulisan yang mana menceritakan tentang uh, pengalaman pribadi dari si penulis kayak gitu ya. Uh, before to make you clearer about recount text uh, let me show you an example of recount text okay <clears throat> this is the example of recount text okay uh, let me read for you last week I heard a really bad news Corona caught in Indonesia. The government told us to stay at home. I was really sad. Okay, that's paragraph one. And then now the second paragraph. I decided to stay at home. I studied at home. Even though I was not with my teacher, I still connected with her by online. That's the paragraph number two, the second paragraph. And then now the last paragraph is, that is all my own exper experience. I really hope the word will heal soon. The end. Okay. So, uh, that recount text cons uh, the recount text consists of three paragraphs. Okay, get. Uh, we please pay attention to the words, to the blue words. Okay. Ini Habibi masih tidur jadinya aman. <laughs> he will not ruin us okay. Okay. Uh, Please pay attention to the blue words. Okay. Heard and then got in <coughs> and then was and then told decided started was not connected and then that's all okay the blue words okay why i read this different with with the black words why because i uh i want to make sure that all of you pay attention to the blue words the blue words are called uh past form words kayak gitu past form verbs kata kerja bentuk lampau kayak gitu ya uh so it is quite different with the simple present tense we have discussed in the previous in the previous material. Uh, simple present uses verb one, and then the recount text we use verb two. Why? Because recount text uh, 
tells us about the writer's past experience kayak gitu ya jadi kenapa pakai kenapa kok berbeda mem tidak seperti yang di simple present tense simple present tense menggunakan verb 1 sedangkan yang rekonteks kita menggunakan verb 2 karena apa karena Uh, seperti tadi kita sudah saya katakan rekonteks itu menceritakan tentang pengalaman pribadi dari si penulis kayak gitu ya uh, pengalaman pribadi dari si penulis uh, lalu apa yang uh, karena dia pengalaman pribadi maka dari itu kita pakai simple past kayak gitu so in English uh, the time the moment uh, is divided into three into three times okay Uh, the first is past past events and then present events and then the future events so uh, pay attention to the three times okay uh, if you want to talk about the present events uh, like uh, hari ini atau, uh, or your daily activity please use simple present for your present moments so uh, we use verb one in the simple present tense But if you want to uh, tell us about uh, the past events, please use simple past form, which is we use verb to in the simple past form. But uh, besides, uh, if you want to talk about the future moment, the future moment that the uh, the future that you will you are going to do, uh, please the simple future form. Uh, <coughs> It uses will plus verb one. We talk about it. Uh, we have talked about it in the in the previous semester. Do you still remember it? Will uh, sorry, will and be going to. Do you still remember it? I hope so. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> okay. Recount text. Yeah. Recount text. Uh, what is that? <clears throat> Rec so recount text uh, is a text that. Uh, tells us about the writer's past experience gitu paham ya sekali lagi recount text itu adalah uh, sebuah teks yang menceritakan tentang pengalaman pribadi dari si penulis kayak gitu ya oke okay. uh, and then <coughs> uh, to make a good recount text you have to pay attention to the structure of the text jadi untuk membuat recount text text recount yang baik dan benar kalian harus memperhatikan Uh, struktur teks dari recount text tersebut uh, so recount text uh, consists of three structures okay three structures uh, the first one is called orientation and then the second one is called uh, events and then the third is called reorientation okay uh, to make sure that you have cleared enough with my explanation I will show you again uh, my example okay <coughs> here is okay last week I heard a really bad news corona got in Indonesia the government told us to stay at home I was really sad. Okay, that's the paragraph one. Okay, saya artikan ya. Minggu kemarin saya mendengar kabar yang tidak uh, yang benar-benar menyedihkan. Corona masuk ke Indonesia. Pemerintah menyuruh kita untuk diam di tempat. Saya sangat sedih. Kayak gitu. So. This paragraph, the first paragraph, is called orientation. So, the orientation. What is that? What, what is uh, what is orientation? Orientation is uh, is like a background of your story that you will deliver to your readers. Okay. Jadi orientation itu adalah sebuah latar yang mana kalian akan uh, ceritakan kepada para pembaca kalian gitu ya so uh, you have to make it clear in the in the orientation that when the event happened and then where the event happened and what's going on with the event nah, seperti itu ya uh, the in the example we can we can see it 
last week I heard a really bad news. So it is quite clear that um, the story is is begun on last week. Kayak gitu ya. Jadi hmm, sudah jelas di sini bahwa kejadiannya terjadi minggu kemarin. And then Corona got in Indonesia. So where where the story happens is in Indonesia. Kayak gitu ya. Jadi ini jelas sekali. Uh, jadi kalau kalian mau buat uh, recount text, make sure that you put the orientation in uh, in the beginning of the story. Jadi kalau kalian mau bikin teks recount yang baik dan benar kalian pastikan untuk uh, membuat uh, orientasinya dulu yaitu latar dari uh, latar dari cerita kalian mau cerita apa kayak gitu oke okay? understood oke okay. and then the second one is called events jadi yang tadi struktur nomor dua kan yang pertama orientation yang kedua events yang ketiga reorientation and then we talk we talk about the events okay uh, pay attention to the second paragraph i decided to stay at home i studied at home even though i was not with my teacher i still connected with her by online yeah. itu paragraph yang kedua it is called events jadi ini yang dinamakan events atau kejadian-kejadian jadi di uh, pada cerita kalian itu kalian menceritakan kejadian-kejadian penuh ini di uh, di part events uh, di bagian events yang ini uh, events are not only uh, in one paragraph but you can uh, you can tell us about three paragraphs or, or two or three paragraphs and so on It's up to you ya. Sekali lagi kalau bikin uh, event eventsnya itu atau kejadian-kejadiannya itu kalian bisa uh, kalian bisa membikinnya tidak hanya satu paragraf kayak gini. Ini hanya contoh. Kalian bisa bikin dua atau tiga paragraf kayak gitu ya. And then the last one is uh, is called reorientation. What is re reorientation? Reorientation is is like a conclusion uh, you can put conclusion and uh, the message that you will deliver with your uh, to your readers in the reorientation jadi di reorientation di part reorientation ini uh, kalian bisa menambahkan kesimpulan dari cerita kalian A uh, dan juga bisa juga uh, message itu apa ya pesan pesan yang akan kalian uh, sampaikan kepada para pembaca kalian kayak gitu ya uh, so that is all my own experience I really hope the world will heal soon kayak gitu ya jadi uh, itu adalah um, kisah pribadi saya seperti itu itu adalah uh, kong, apa namanya closer yang closingnya uh, kalimat penutupnya and then uh, the writer makes a message I hope that the world will heal soon nah, itu adalah contoh dari message yang uh, yang akan di yang akan diserahkan eh, yang akan diserahkan sorry yang akan uh, dikirimkan kepada para pembaca yaitu semoga dunia Uh, akan sembuh segera kayak gitu ya oke okay. uh, sudah that is all my my explanation about the context uh, do you got it I hope so okay let me review uh, materials that I have delivered for you okay uh, the first thing is What is the purpose of the text? Yeah, so recount text is a text that tells us about the writer's past experience. So if you, uh, if you are given a question about what is the purpose of the text, uh, it it is quite clear that the answer is to retell the writer's past experience. Jadi kalau kalian 
uh, ditanya nanti ada di tahap pertanyaan apa sih Uh, fungsi fungsinya da, fungsi sosial dari suatu teks jadi kan kalau kalian uh, if you uh, jadi kalau kalian membuat sebuah teks ya kan sebuah tulisan itu kan ada per, pertama yang harus dipikirkan adalah tujuan kenapa sih saya harus me, membuat teks ini lah kalau recount teks itu tujuannya yaitu adalah untuk uh, me, menceritakan kembali dari uh, pengalaman pribadi dari si penulis kayak gitu, oke? Okay? And then the second is the language feature. Jadi unsur kebahasaan dari recount text kayak gitu ya. Jadi unsur kebahasaannya dari recount text yaitu adalah uh, to <coughs> is you uh, the language feature of recount text is using simple past form. Jadi Uh, unsur kebahasaan dari recount text yaitu adalah menggunakan simple past tense kayak gitu ya. Jadi uh, we use verb to in the uh, in the simple past form. Okay. Uh, uh, how can I get verb to, ma'am? Okay. Maybe some of you have questions like that. Uh, jadi gimana kok bisa kok bisa tahu itu verb 1, verb 2, verb 3 mem kok bisa tahu sih gitu ya kan uh, kalian bisa lihat saja langsung uh, di uh, in your dictionary book in the middle of the pages of your dictionary book there uh, there are many uh, different color papers in that in the, the dictionary jadi kalian bisa lihat di tengah-tengahnya buku kamus itu itu kan ada warna yang beberapa warna yang berbeda lah itu kalian buka kalian buka itu ada di situ juga verb 1 verb 2 dan verb 3 jadi verb waktu digunakan di simple present tense verb yang digunakan pada saat di simple past tense and the, the uh, verb 3 itu nanti akan digunakan di uh, present perfect tense uh, you will get it in the third in the third grade ya di kelas 9 nanti kalian akan dapat yang present perfect jadi kalau yang pertama ini per, uh, di kelas 8 ini kalian mem, uh, belajar tentang dua hal ini yaitu simple present and then simple past uh, gimana men biar tahunya lebih gampang nggak bisa tahunya lebih gampang yaitu kalian uh, you have to uh, you have to be usual with the verb one and the verb two cara paling gampang kak saya share ya cara, cara paling gampang yaitu saya menghafalkannya kalau kalian nggak pandai untuk dalam menghafal kalian juga bisa uh, membuat buat kalimat sendiri kayak gitu jadi I study I study now uh, I'm studying now and then uh, you make you make the past form I studied last night kayak gitu verb satu verb dua gitu jadi uh, and then the second example is Uh, I tell you what is the truth. Saya memberitahukan kamu uh, kejadian uh, apa yang benar. And then you make it in the past form. I told you what is the truth. Saya memberi saya kemarin memberitahukan kamu apa yang sebenarnya terjadi. Kayak gitu. Jadi it, itu. Uh, jadi uh, do not do not forget to always study. Kayak gitu ya. Uh, even we are in the bad condition. I have You, I hope all of you still have a spirit to keep learning. Please keep learning because you are a student. You have to always study. Gitu ya. And then the third, the third materials is the generic structure. Uh, what, what is that? The generic structure. Struktur teksnya. Tadi saya sudah katakan ya. Struktur teks dari recount text. Uh, we have three, three structures. Uh, the first is what is that? Yeah orientation and then events and then reorientation so and the what if you are given a question what is the structure of the text uh, of the recount text you can answer the recount text consists of three things yaitu uh, that's it orientation events and then reorientation Okay, that's all the materials for today. Uh, seperti biasa, uh, the, my students uh, have famil have familiar with me. Uh, I will teach my students in 10 minutes or at least five, 15 minutes, and then I will 
I will give my students uh, what is it <coughs> a, an exercise oke okay, jadi uh, seperti biasa kalau saya habis menerangkan sebanyak 5 atau 10 atau 15 menit saya langsung akan memberikan kalian sebuah latihan remember uh, banyak mengeluh ya uh, kok kok lama-lama kok banyak tugas atau gimana gimana gitu ya uh, it, <coughs> banyak tugas ini bukan ini latihan biasa latihan biasa jadi kayak kita di sekolah kita kan sudah terbiasa dengan itu jadi uh, intinya kalian itu tidak urut tidak harus uh, sehari ini penuh semua ya kita kan punya jadwal ya kan kalau di bahasa Inggris jam 7 sampai jam 9 kayak gitu kan ya jam 7 sampai jam 9 ini kalian Uh, pastikan mengerjakan tugas dari saya tugas uh, seperti biasa tugas saya nggak sulit-sulit tidak sulit sama sekali uh, the assignment is first make a recount text ya yeah. make a recount text in minimum 10 sentences make a recount text in one paragraph in minimum 10 sentences jadi tugas yang pertama yaitu kalian membuat recount text recount textnya itu me, uh, dibuat dalam satu paragraf saja and then uh, satu paragraf itu terdiri dari 10 kalimat kayak gitu ya and then uh, gimana mem, mem kok susah ya mem kok susah gitu ya kan uh, saya, saya kasih kalian trik ya kalau membuat paragraf uh, if you want to make a good paragraph make sure that you have made a good sentence kayak gitu ya make a good sentence jadi ya yeah, for the example last week I heard a really bad news one sentence one good sentence consists of one subject and one verb without connector ya kita bisa kan mam bisa bisa satu subjek bisa dua subjek bisa tiga subjek bisa tapi with con, uh, with a conjunction but uh, in this case we do not need a con any conjunction so uh, just put subject verb object kayak gitu aja itu sudah satu kalimat nanti bikin 10 titik ya kayak gitu aja 10 10 ya bukan 5 10 titik dah jadi kayak gitu tidak usah yang terlalu sulit subjek subjeknya subjeknya apa kan cuma i i i i gitu aja kan because it is your own experience ya kan uh, subjek verb verbnya verb dua verb duanya lihat di kamus ah, sudah gampang and then the second task is <coughs> oh ya yeah, recontextnya is about uh, the your experience in facing the spread of coronavirus jadi rekonteksnya itu tentang uh, pengalaman pribadi kalian dalam menghadapi penyebaran corona, virus corona sekarang ini oke okay? agak lumayan gampang jadi ya kayak tadi ya kan <coughs> uh, mem susah mem gitu kan ya enggak susah sama sekali uh, oke okay. I, I forgot rekonteks is a lot like your diary book so If you have made a recount, uh, a diary book, sorry, a diary book, I make sure that you have made a recount text. Jadi kalau recount text itu hampir sama seperti diary book, bukan hampir sama. Memang diary book is a part of recount text. Jadi daya, buku diary itu adalah bagian dari text recount, kayak gitu ya. Penga, menceritakan tentang pengalaman dari si penulis, kayak gitu. Jadinya uh, ini hampir sama, ini sama lah kayak diary book. Jadi kalau kalian sudah biasa bikin diary book di rumah, saya pastikan kalau kalian sudah membuat rekonteks juga. Oke, okay. and then the second task is present your rekonteks in a video like this, ya yeah, kan? In a video like this. Uh, jadi yang kedua tugas yang kedua itu adalah kalian mempresentasikan uh, teks rekon kalian uh, dalam sebuah video seperti ini without a text. Jadi tidak membaca seperti ini ya lumayan gampang kan karena di video kalian bisa edit ya kan bebas pokoknya kalian pokoknya di video gitu durasinya berapa mem it's up to you and then the third is uh, send your recount text uh, post sorry post your recount text in your instagram account 
and then do not re, do not forget to tag me ya jadi yang yang ketiga adalah kalian membuat uh, kalian nge- posting nih, posting video kalian yang tadi di instagram kalian dan jangan lupa untuk uh, tag saya, jangan lupa untuk apa, ya tandai saya ya, jangan lupa tandai saya, that's it is it clear for you? oke okay. uh, and then give an, give a caption about your full name and then the second is your present Uh, attendee list number yeah, the third is eh, sorry the second is class and then the third is attendee attendee list number jadi nomor satu jangan lupa kasih captionnya nama uh, nama nama lengkap kalian dan kemudian kelas kalian yang ketiga adalah nomor absen kalian kayak gitu ya uh, this task is only for 8 C eh, sorry 8 D E F G H ya yeah, the class that I have I have taught gitu ya. Yeah. Uh, jadi kayak gitu sudah jelas sudah jelas ya. Yeah. Okay, uh, that's all for today. Thanks all. Thanks so thank you so much for watching me. Uh, I hope that the word heals soon. Okay, see you.